How's it going everybody? This is Than from Tidal Gardens. Here at Tidal Gardens, things are always in a constant state of change. This past month, we decided to rework one of our oldest systems to make it more functional. The original system was made up of two 300-gallon tubs, a 150-gallon maintenance tub, and two 125-gallon glass aquariums. It's these glass aquariums we were looking to replace. We purchased these tanks years ago, and they had their pros and cons. They were relatively affordable at the time, which was a big deal when our original build called for six of these tanks total. They were a good size, as well as providing a large viewing tank to go with our tubs. The two main issues we were trying to address were the fact that they are very tall, making it hard to get to the bottom. They also had a very narrow profile limiting how many corals we could place in them. In their place will be four shallow custom tanks made by Great Lakes Aquariums. Here is a sneak peek of the reworked system with the old tanks removed and half of the new tanks in place. We've learned that people gravitate to eye level tanks more than any other type of tank, so the rebuild incorporates two 90 gallon tanks roughly at shoulder height. Below them are two 75 gallon tanks that are more general purpose. Okay, fast forwarding a couple days, we now have all four tanks in place and the water running. The new tanks, although only adding a few more gallons to the total system, provide a much larger footprint to work with. In all, it increases the square footage of the glass tanks from 18 square feet to 44 square feet. This goes along with a much shallower profile making them easier to move coral in and out of. Although the lower tanks are general purpose, perhaps their most important function is for photography and videography. Most of the greenhouse is lit by LEDs, which are not the easiest to shoot under. Something about the narrowness of the spectrum makes it hard for our camera sensors to tell colors apart, so you often end up with lots of purple blobs in the image. These lower 75 gallon tanks have T5 fixtures for use when shooting coral. Moving on, we have a very simple return system from a single submersible pump. Pay special attention to the number of unions we use. You will probably hear me say this a lot, but plumbing in this hobby is not about fitting everything together, it's about being able to take it all apart. To provide as much flow as possible to the tanks, we added adductor fittings to the return lines. For those unfamiliar with adductors, they increase flow by shooting a stream of water through that funnel tip. It creates a suction, effectively displacing up to four times as much water as going through. They're a bit bulky but highly effective. Not everything is great, however. Plumbing is kind of like a foreign language, so if you don't do it all the time, it's easy to forget some of the small things you've learned along the way. I made a beginner mistake on the drains, which caused an excess of micro bubbles in the lower tank. Even though the drains are discharging into a 300 gallon tub, their effects are noticeable. They bother both fish and corals, and in high enough quantities get pumped back into the glass tanks. This problem would be greatly amplified if we were working with a much smaller sump, so controlling microbubbles is an important thing to consider. One of the best things to do is provide a top vent for the air to escape so that not all the air is forced down into the tank or sump below. Although there's quite a lot of air making it into the tub still, the amount of smaller bubbles is minimized. Here you can see a side-by-side -side comparison with and without the vent. Okay, that's it for now. I'm sure there will be some updates later as we fill these systems up. Thanks for watching and I hope you subscribe. Happy reefing everyone!